Today I will be installing the Rouse cold air intake on my Ford F-150. I found one for sale on eBay and the reason I went with this one is because the factory warranty is not voided by this installation and it's also CARB certified for California. So the directions call for removing the negative battery cable, replacing the factory stock with a Rouge cold air intake. First thing I did was loosen up that hose clamp and then this slides into there with those teeth so all you got to do is take that out flip those clips off right there flip those off wiggle this out and take it from under those clips right there and take off the top piece first then we can remove this factory air box by removing that so removing that nut bolt next that's a half inch bolt just take it all the way out pull it out all right so next we're going to remove the sensor and we're going to remove the connector there for the turbo and the connector here for the turbo and once we remove those we can take this piece out to remove the sensor it's pretty easy you when it's in there it's like this so you just turn it and then you can wiggle it out. Once you have that loosened and that loosened, then I just wiggled that one out and then you wiggle this one out and this whole assembly comes out. Okay, next we gotta remove the two clips that are holding the factory air intake. So the way you can do that is just shimmy your plastic retainer clip removal underneath. See right there like that. And then pop it up. And then do the same on this side. One hand is a little trick here. And once you've got it popped up, you can pop those out. Usually they come out with it, but I'm one-handed, so usually you can just pop it out while the other piece is still in, but it doesn't hurt anything to put the piece. You can pop those pieces right back in it, just whichever way it comes out easier. There you go. Okay, so with the retaining clips off there, and with the nut and bolt off here, this will just wiggle its way loose and come up. What holds it in besides those is those two right there sticking to those two gaskets there. So you can pull this whole assembly out. Now we'll take and take this bushing from the factory unit and pop it on here and then unscrew that screw there keep this intake housing and it will pop on right there and you'll screw it back in right there so once we take this and this and put it on here we can go to the next step all right so the original intake is now intake a dirty air intake part of it is now hooked into the new intake box and then I took the grommet and the bolt that comes out and put it back in and moving on to the next step. Next we cut out the template. I printed it out. Here's what it looks like before you cut it out. Once you cut it out, you have this, which gives you the two spots to, to punch to mark where you're going to put your holes. Okay, so I printed the template and cut it out and then put it on here. And I use my punch to mark the holes. Now, one thing that I'm not 100% sure about, it's hard to tell by the pictures and directions, is if this is supposed to be lined up here at the very top, and this just doesn't reach down to the bottom, or 
if this is supposed to line up with the bottom, which you can see leaves a little space up there. So I punched both sets of holes, and then I just have to figure out uh, which set is more desirable to use, the higher set or the lower set. So I'm gonna look at that, make a decision, and then once I do, I will go ahead and drill. The next step is to drill 17 64 drill bit holes. So I'll do that next. Okay, so after looking at it, I decided to go with it pushed up against the top there and using that set of holes. I asked for 17 64 drill bit. I don't have that. I have a quarter drill bit, one fourth, which is basically 16 64. So it's almost the exact same thing. I'm going to go ahead and just use that. Drill holes are in. Moving on. All right, time to mount the bracket. So we'll line the bracket up here and then we'll take the bolt and it will come through from the other side like that and we'll tighten it up. Now let's put the housing back in. What we wanna do is line up those two with those two grommets and this right here with the rubber grommet. So take the two holes there, there we go, and there. And that should be good. Now I'm gonna double check underneath. Reinstall your two quick connect clips. Now it's time to connect our filter to the first housing hose that comes off of it. And just slide it in and then you'll tighten down the clamp. Okay, so next I slid the air intake in that tube we just connected. You put one there and then put the other one in there and tighten these down. It's not in place. Okay, now we need to reconnect this sensor. We'll run it underneath here, and it goes up to this other side. Okay, there we go. I had to find the right orientation to get it in all the way, and then turn it right, and I did hear the click, so I know it's in there good. Now I reconnected these, and I'm gonna tighten up all the hose clamps. After that, reconnect the battery, and we're good to test it out. I'll try it out first without putting the lid on, and then I'll be putting the lid on afterwards. Okay, so I ran it, everything's good. No uh, engine faults or lights or anything. So now, lastly, I'm just gonna put the cap on, put the screws in, call this done. definitely notice an improved sound and throttle response after installing the Roush. Thanks for watching. More videos are coming. Please like and subscribe.